Okay, so today I'm going to install my USB to floppy adapter on my V2 XT. So you can see the machine is shut off. Here I have the CD-ROM to load the software. This is the USB that I got with it and this is the floppy to USB adapter. You can see it's the size of a floppy drive. I'm at the back of the machine and you can see here where the normal factory floppy drive is installed. What I'm going to do is go ahead and open this cabinet. Of course the power is off and I'm going to remove this floppy drive which is mounted with screws top and bottom and if you notice it's mounted in a holder. I'm going to remove it from the holder and then reinsert the uh, new drive in it. Now one thing to make sure you note is note which way the pin orientation is. In this case, pin 1 is the red wire toward the center of the machine. If it doesn't work, it will just stay on. So, I'm going to go ahead and remove the drive. Okay, so now I've removed the screws on the top and the screws on the bottom. My next action is to remove these cables. And now I'm going to remove the drive. Floppy install may be different, but this is mine. And it's mounted in this holder, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is rotate it around and gently press on this clip to get it to release. It's been pressed in to the, or to the outside. Now I'm going to remove this bracket so that we can remove the drive. Yours may be screwed down just because that's a different style and or uh, a, somebody else has replaced it in the past. So now, move the drive, we're gonna lift up and press down. And on this mount, you've gotta make sure that it clears these holes so that the drive, you can see the pin and the hole, they're just gonna remove this. And there we have it. Here we have the new USB to floppy. There's four holes in the bottom. I'm simply going to align those same holes back in. And you can see now that it's coming back together. You can see it fitting into the holes. I'm going to take our clip and I'm going to reinsert the clip back down into its relative position. You can see it's in good here. The clips are in both places and I'm gonna rotate it around and so it's oriented correctly. Now the last thing that I'm gonna do is look closely at this board and make sure that I know where pin one is and yes I do. All right, so I'm gonna go reinstall it in the machine. Okay, I've got the screws back in. Didn't figure you wanted to watch me putting all that back in, but it's, as you can see, it's mounted and it's solid. So now the next step was going to be to reattach the power. So the power is now reattached. And again, earlier we noted that red was pin one. So in this particular machine on this drive, it goes toward the power supply, which is common. So there we have it. The mechanical portion of the install is done. Power, red pin here, and we're going to fire up the machine. Okay, this is uh, the Windows portion of it. So I've already installed the flash drive that came with my drive and I'm just going to come up here and start virtual floppy, select E, I'm going to create a hundred floppies on that, start format, yes. And I chose a hundred only because the drive has places for two digits, 0 through 99, so anything more really, I didn't know how you'd get to it. And you only have to do this once just to create the floppy partitions. And with that, it says it's finished. So uh, again, this is not something you would do all the time, but uh, what's great about it is now I can just come down and I can open up and you notice it's called floppy zero zero and I can take my uh, text file here which is uh, and this one 
So now I've put two on the drive and I can remove the drive and go to the V2XT. So at the V2XT screen now, with the floppy inserted, you just hit F7, escape twice, A colon, it'll show you the files that are on the USB, select the one that you want, and it will automatically load it and load to CNC, yes. And so at that point, it's now reading it off and has loaded the file directly off of the USB. Great upgrade from Floppy. Anyway, guys, that's how you can convert your V2XT to a USB stick and cut parts away. Good luck.